what I notice is that when I'll bring in something and the students like it, then that makes me even more enthusiastic about teaching it. Paste. Cool, huh? A couple of years ago, I put together a video about uh, some kayak fishing adventures that I was doing. And I had to learn Photoshop to do some of the animation in there. Once I became proficient in Photoshop, I started bringing it in and showing those tools to my students, who were second graders at the time. And since then, uh, it's been a staple of my instruction. It's just one of the ways to access the students' art skills and integrate technology into the classroom. In our classroom, we were doing an art contest, and I, and I drew a hawk, and then I scanned it on the computer and then made it into a heart. This is like a first grade doing some high-tech stuff. Um, just being able to scan her work and then polish it up in Photoshop. She can scan her, her own freelance artwork and then go into Photoshop, change the color, change the background, do gradient colors. I mean, it's pretty amazing the stuff that they're able to do and I don't even know how to do it, so I'm pretty jealous. It's my job to be a talent scout. I'm not to sit there with a pacing manual, day one, page one. My job is to see how the students best learn, their learning preferences, and deliver the material to them that's interesting to them and also at a pace and um, in a flavor that they can enjoy. Another way of looking at that is find a window of acceptance or entry into a child's cognitive domain in which they prefer to learn. In the morning, we do about an hour of direct and explicit instruction. Following that, students write, and those with parental permission type online blog posts. They'll blog about their own personal experiences, they'll blog about their feelings and their thoughts, they'll keep it anonymous, I teach them internet safety, and they can also put their own art, they scan their own art via Photoshop into their blog, and then they digitally manipulate them. One of my students who started out as a reluctant writer loves technology. So I started a blogging program with him where he blogs and then his parents get an instant email update. So blogging has been a way for him to um, get ideas out in a creative way. He will you know, post it and I'll get a message on my iPhone, so will his dad, so will his grandma. And when we notice it, we'll be able to reply back, even if it's a simple, oh, that's funny and, you know, love you. And he enjoys getting those back and seeing that response. Mm -hmm.